I get a lot of questions about caring for AGM battery banks and um, I've gone into the lead acid ones pretty extensively and uh, now I'm going to go into the AGM ones so I'm going to have to roll that card out there to get to these batteries and um, I'll show you how I do that so the first thing you want to do um, whether it be with solar or a plug-in charger or generator is to go ahead and charge them up fully and this shouldn't take too long um, they're probably at about 90% charge so it might take a half hour but I got some other things I can do while I'm doing that but uh, one of the most important things for any battery bank whether it be lead acid or AGM is to uh, charge them fully and charge them often look at the dust I'm going to try to do a little uh, house clean in there and um, one of the biggest problems with uh, with AGM batteries you can't do hydrometers and things like that you have to uh, actually find a way to uh, find out the state of charge of each battery or the condition or whether it's a dud battery and um, you can't just uh, put a load tester on the battery bank and figure that out you pretty much have to uh, isolate each battery so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the entire negative uh, cables, uh, bars, all that, so that I can test each battery individually. All right, so I'm now, I'm uh, totally topped off, and I'm going to shut off the uh, battery bank. And um, you really got to think this through. Uh, you got to make sure inverters are going to try to uh, they're going to try to survive no matter what. And uh, you definitely want to take the lines and the loads off of your uh, battery bank so that uh, you don't uh, create any sparks or anything like that. And um, this also applies to, uh, you know, testing a uh, regular uh, lead acid battery bank. So uh, let me get to uh, taking it apart and testing it. So I pulled the insulation back on a couple points because uh, I'm going to leave all the positives hooked together. And uh, that way I can... Uh, just run along the negatives of all the batteries and uh, this is always kind of a one of the things that kind of drive you nuts a little bit you need to do it at least every year to two years on an AGM battery bank and when you find a, uh, a bad battery it can possibly cost you uh, 300 bucks and uh, that sucks I screwed up the last take and uh, but now I'm down to taking the uh, copper jumpers off and um, I think I said in the, uh, when I was trying to make the last little clip, you just want to have your thinking cap on here. You do not want to short out a battery bank. It's uh, not good. And uh, I'm going to take those out and put the bolts back in, and then I'll be able to test each individual battery. Let's get to testing them. So you just want to make your way on down the battery bank. And when doing this with a lead acid battery bank, you want to make sure you have a really good connection. Because if you get a spark, um, that may not be a good thing. So I'm just going to uh, make my way all the way to the end. You can see it just hardly even pulls it down. And that's exactly what you want. Success. Now all I got to do is put it all back together. No big deal. I'm pretty happy right now. All the batteries are in good shape. Now we just start putting it back exactly where it all came from. Starting with these copper plates here. You got to take it apart to test it. Don't over torque them. Double checking with 70 inch pins written right on the battery. Now 
Now I try to say this in every video I do, I cannot advocate or push hard enough how important it is cable sizing. If you don't have big cables your battery bank can get out of, out of uh, balance and uh, you can lose batteries because of it and um, I just can't say it enough. Cable sizing, big deal. And now I'm going to roll this battery bank, this heavy thing, over top of that battery bank. And there we go. All the batteries are good. And uh, let me show you what's next. Now this part's very important after uh, abusing your battery bank with a load tester. It's very important to charge them all the way back up. And you can see this is going to go really quickly. And um, but very important top them off totally. And now let's bring it back online. Got a little load jump there because we're starting a refrigerator and a freezer. But uh, now we're back online. And remember having a bad battery in a battery bank is uh, like cancer to a battery bank. It's uh, very important to uh, Make sure they're all good and they're all together and they're like-minded or birds of a feather. Uh, I don't know how to say that. It's very important. Now I know it's very easy to uh, just kind of forget about the maintenance on a solar array or system or whatever. But it's very important. Very important. And uh, this is mainly on AGMs. I have other videos on lead acid, choosing batteries, all kinds of stuff. So... Uh, check that out if you have any questions and um, hope that was helpful and we'll see you next time.